Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill. It's time to revive extra channel with the new videos, with the new tanks, and overall remake some videos back from 2020, 2021, or 2022. And it happened to be that we have a new Polish line in action, and we are going to take a look into the tier 5. I played some battles with this tank. It's definitely not ideal, but it has some things to offer. So overall, fellas, if you're not aware of the index page, I would highly recommend to check it out. Um, simply a Google skill for index or check out description overall i rated the tank the three stars and tank overall is i mean it's average in the best case scenario with nothing too crazy of the stats right uh, but for a tier 5 tank it is completely understandable and this is obvious now what is this tank selling point what this tank has to offer so it is not an often situation that the tier 5 tank has um 240 alpha damage, right? This is a selling point of this tank, in my opinion. So 240 alpha damage, uh, 150 millimeters of the penetration, 950 shell velocity. If you are loading the gold, you have 188 millimeters of penetration, which is huge for a TR5. I just want to highlight this. And overall, shell velocity is very good as well. 1,188 meters, right? So pretty much what you want with this tank, you want to get into the position from where you can snipe and you just want to beat the living crap out of the enemy forces, right? Nothing too crazy, nothing unusual. Um, and this is very, very simple gameplay, right? You just want to play like a typical tank destroyer. Now, skill, uh, this tank is pretty slow. Yeah, the tank isn't the fastest where the, where the speed goes. Probably it is uh, towards the average category where the, where the mobility goes for a tier 5 um, uh, tank destroyers, right? And this is completely fine. There is nothing unusual about this. It's okay. Once again, the biggest selling point of this tank is the sweet alpha damage. If we can slap the tier 6 medium tank um, with a 3-4 shots, this is, this is absolutely glorious and this is absolutely amazing, right? This is the selling point of this tank. Let me know, fellas, if you have played with this vehicle before and what do you think about it. Would you agree with me or would you say, Ah, Gatuna skill, this tank is absolutely disgusting and I would say it is unplayable. I am quite curious, fellas, because I heard plenty of people complaining about this tank and rightfully so. I understand that it is... Uh, um, it is not the easiest tank to make it work and overall it can be quite challenging vehicle overall. Okay, so... What do we have? Uh-oh. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so I'm getting out spotted by the cover 2, which isn't the finest thing, but it is how it is. I understand we do not really have too many hit points left. I'm aware of that. I get it. But you know what? We are not going to give up. We are going to try to find the decent enough angle to say hello for him. Oh, he is pre-aimed. Luckily, he missed the shot and we are slapping him in the face. Good. Now, Mr. Leopard, he knows where I am. That is okay and that is understandable. We know we are his as well. So what we need to do, we need to relocate now. And we need to try to get a bit better angle to slap him, right? Once again, step by step, little by little, patiently, not being too aggressive, because once again, I understand that I am uh, lower tier mother trucker here, and once again, I can't expect to bounce every and each uh, uh, shot that enemies are trying to hit us, right? We understand it is not that simple, and it is not that easy. So we are just preparing to punish enemies. Come on, Leopard, be brave. Be brave, make a mistake and let me slap you. Hmm. Not as easy as I would love to say it is. And I must admit I am losing a bit of my patience at the moment. That being said, since I am losing my patience, I will try to figure out how, how I could get involved into all of this, right? And I think the best way for us to make a bit of pressure... Skill don't make pressure. Do what I want to. Skill don't make pressure, I said. This is the converse, uh, This is my conversation with my brain, fellas. It is not so simple, but sometimes... I need to. 
I will still be greedy. I will try to take the middle here. I think I can... Ooh. Okay. Okay, I like it. I think I can simply take this position and I would have a decent enough uh, angle to slap my brother from the other mother. This is what I think. Once again, quite a challenging game here, but that is okay. We have all time in the world. We have all time in the world of tanks, fellas. All we need to do, we need to aim properly. Go back. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Skill, do you see this uh, Leo? What Leo? What Leo, fellas? Absolutely not. I cannot see anyone. He will penetrate me. That's okay. He's going for another one. Luckily, he did not manage to penetrate us. I'm trying to make a harder angle for him to penetrate. And we are slapping, fellas. We are slapping. Beautiful. This is exactly what I'm looking for. And this is exactly what we need in this situation, right? Okay, let's wait until Binus will start doing the job and there is a chance that we are going to slap Zadimka here. Also, please, keep this in mind that the view range of this vehicle is definitely laughable. Where the view range goes, overall Polish tank destroyers are, are well, how to say this without insulting? It is a piece of shit. This is this is the kind version, fellas. This is very, very kind version. Even with Binots and some crew skills, I think we have brother in arms and whatnot. We do not even have close to have maximum uh, view range or 445 meters view range, right? This is quite rare. And yes, overall, lower tiers has uh, lower view range. I am very, very well aware of that, but not that low, right? Not that low. Meanwhile, I'm waiting until he will turn and now. Beautiful. Another very, very nice shot. Can we finish him off pretty please? Yes, we can. Beautiful. This is, this is perfection, fellas. This game showed how beautiful this time can be when all stars are aligned and whenever you are playing smart, right? Not too much pressure taken. We try to use our armor in the decent way and I think we definitely... We definitely made it work. Now, I believe you may wonder what is the armor of this vehicle and I am going to show you this right in a second. First of all, let's see the score. 2000 damage, 300 assisting damage, the first class, which is very, very good. Spartans medal, uh, it's okay as well. We are first by experience, we are first by the damage, and we even made 21,000 profits, which is very much appreciated. Very, very, very nice, fellas. We are doing a great job. Now, the armor of this tank, I think it is super important uh, to highlight, right? So, skill, what do we have? Well, um... Armor is far away from being ideal. I mean, if, even if we would take something like, uh, um, who has the average penetration? Let's say, let's take DSPZ. You can, you can get penetrated literally in the face, right? It is not so simple uh, to get any bouncing damage from this tank. So do not treat this vehicle is a super heavy, right? This is very important thing to highlight. Let's go for another one and let's see how this beautiful tank will work. Okay, what do we have? Ghost Town Assault. Definitely far away from being ideal where the game goes, right? Uh, or we are much making goes, I suppose to say, but we are going to be okay. We are defending the base and it is very, very hard to defend the base. And the fact that we are going to fight against the Cheeto SP like equals, it is laughable as well. But that is World of Tanks and plus two minus too much making works this way. Sometimes you are just a um, meatball in the games, right? And this is completely fine. We are accepting this and we will try to get as much use as we physically and possibly can of this situation. So the first things first, I, uh, I really would love to see our team spotting for us over there, right? My mission is to take this position and just simply wait until someone will get spotted over there. I do not have any business to uh, do or to attend in the city. 
I am feeling like I am a literally meatball in this situation and obviously I am treating myself like I am a semi-tank destroyer and semi-fartable tank to begin with. Yes, we have alpha damage that is great and that is enjoyable, you know, alpha damage is always very much appreciated, but it doesn't change the fact that um, we are still extremely weak, right? So we need to keep this in mind. Although, you know, shot by shot, like five shots with this tank and you have 1,000. This is very, very, very good feature and this is definitely a good thing, right? It truly is. Okay, let's wait until this light tank will make a decision to go on top of the hill over there. There is a chance he will, although the biggest question, I'm going for a blind shot. Unfortunately, I missed that one. Shame. And look at our tank destroyers. I mean, mother truckers. Literally every and each tank destroyer of ours went with a blind shot. That is nuts, fellas. That is, that is absolutely crazy. I mean, to see the blind shots in the tier 5, tier 6, and like, not a one guy blind shooting, but actually the whole unit of the guys blind shooting, and they are not even in platoon, wow. This is very, very good. This is a good sign for World of Tanks, fellas. People are improving in the game, and people are playing better. And I think this is definitely a good sign. Okay, enemy light tank is trying to run away. Nice blind shot, well not blind shot, nice prediction but uh, but unfortunately we failed, it's okay. Since we do not have anything to do anymore in this position, uh, we want to go into the city. I know I said to avoid the city as, uh, as a vampire should avoid their garlic, I get it. But in this situation, there is nothing else what we could do. Eventually, this Cheeto ISP will go full troll low mode and he will join the um, cap. And whenever it will happen, it's going to be uh, a bit of the problematic experience for us. That being said, I would love to say that I would have an angle to slap him instantly before he joined the cap. Right? And this is exactly what we are looking for. Very nice. This is what we need, fellas. This is what we need. He may get a bit involved over there. This is what we want. Come on, Chito SP. And by the way, as you can see, our M10 cannot even penetrate this gentleman. So he is going with a full high explosive troll law uh, situation, right? And once again, not ideal, but that's what we have. Also, Chito SP can easily two shot us. So I need to be extra careful in this situation. Beautiful, very, very nice, 200 in the face. I'm trying to survive this situation here. Luckily, he doesn't look at us and our art is slapping him like there is no tomorrow. And we are eliminating him from the game. Fellas, we just eliminated one of the most broken tier seven tanks in the game. I am, I am super happy about this, trust me. This is a very, 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 very good play by us. And once again, if you are treating this tank well, if you understand that you cannot really spot that well, but you have a very, very, very nice alpha damage, I believe, uh, I believe this tank can fit you relatively well, and I believe this tank can um, uh, can fit your needs, and this tank can make you feel uh, okay. Okay. I would not say it's the best tank in the world of tanks for obvious reasons, because it definitely isn't. But it can definitely work. Good, hip hip hooray, how about the last remaining Arta? I would love to see this Arta somewhere over there. I think I am having a pit stop here. Wait a second. Mm, not a chance. It could have... It could not be in uh, um, the enemy. I think Ally tried to shoot us in the ass, which is completely fine. I have a good ass after all. Let's not aim and just go for a shot. Beautiful. 250 damage in the face. Very, very nice. Now I would love to get an extra shot on this gentleman and we got it. Absolutely glorious. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we killed even in this battle with this vehicle. Once again, it's all about adapting to the tank and it's all about um, getting used for a vehicle. Right? So far, I would say this session is very, very good. Um, 
and we killed it. First game we played against the tier 6s, second game we played against the tier 7s and we are slapping them like there is no tomorrow. Very, very good. Hopefully this will help you to grind this line as well, right? Uh, and hopefully it will... Um, it will give you a tiny touch better understanding how do I play with a tank and hopefully that will help for you as well. So what do we have? 1.3 thousand damage, uh, 300 assisting damage. We are sec we are third by experience, we are second by the damage and we got ourselves a bit of the profits as well. Cheeto SP is broken by the way. If you never played with this tank I would highly recommend you to do so. Okay, let's keep it up. Okay, guys, what do we have? Redshire standard battle we are playing against the tier 6s. Yeah, matchmaking is going rough on us in this session, but that's okay, you know? All we need to do, we need to dream big and damage will come, right? That's all we need for a full happiness, I guess. So, the first things first, what we do we want to do? We want to knock all of those three towers this direction so we can slap the enemy heavy tanks if they are playing in this... Uh, in this position and in the same time we have a relatively decent angle to slap someone who is playing over there so we should be okay also i noticed quite a bit of the guys are playing with a hardening with this tank so they are gaining like extra 30 hit points but i do not really think it is uh, it is worth it to be fair with you but once again maybe it's only me and maybe i'm the special one here in fact, it looks like we do not really have anyone sniping from the typical bush, so you know what? I am going to take my time to go into the typical bush. We have a couple of the Polish tank destroyers enjoying this lane, and that is okay. We want to take this position here, okay? I think this is going to be significantly better choice for us. And now, all we need to do, we need to wait until enemies will mess up. First things first, I am pre-aiming over there, and by the way, do you see this angle? I can potentially hit this Arl 44 and I can punish you. By the way, the gun is rated average on this vehicle because uh, alpha damage is good, and the gun can hit as well. I would not say that, oh my bananas, you have a good alpha damage, but you cannot hit shit. No, it's not the case, fellas. I would say the alpha damage is um, really, really nice for the tier 5, right? And I would say you can hit your shots relatively well and everything is completely fine. I definitely wouldn't complain about this. So far, our start is decent. We have 450 damage dealt already and we are just enjoying uh, our journey. That's all we are doing. We are making sure that we would have uh, shots if enemies are getting aggressively either um, through the left side or through the right side. It doesn't really change anything for us. All we want to see, we want to see mistakes. And still I have a question. Why are you not playing aggressively? That is a great question because it's just simply not worth it. You see, whenever you have only 400 hit points, and let's get real, most of the tier 6s, uh, especially heavy tanks, they have uh, 200 plus alpha damage. That means two shots and you are saying bye-bye. You are going straight into the garage and you are taking one for the team, you know? This is not what we want to see. Also, looking into this situation, fellas, um, enemies has no team. Uh, that is another hard um, situation for us in this game, but this is okay. We are going to be fine and we are going to survive. All we need to do, we need to start... Um, thinking how to get involved into this game and look at this uh, unit of the Polish tank destroyers tier 6 tier 5 tier 5 all of us came here in front and we are looking for the mother trackers that we could punish for uh, for their stupidity right and for their mistakes this is exactly what we are looking for I'm going for a blind shot because I do not really think I can uh, lose something over there right at least that's what I think and I am just trying to get a blind shot beautiful this guy is spotted it will take a second until I will have a shot but it's okay we have a we have a 50 damage killing shot and this is okay and all our heavy tanks who made a hardcore pressure they died which is a bit unfortunate but what can you do i do not really think uh this side is clear yet i want to believe that they have someone either ikea either some other polish tank destroyer sniping from over there this is completely normal and this is to be uh, um expected fellas 2,000 bonus hit points. 
We are winning by 2000 hit points over there. Let's go for a blind shot just like so and then we are going in. I need to get involved in this situation and sometimes it happens fellas that the enemy team has no team so in this situation if it happened to be that you are playing against the enemy team who has no team um, you just simply need to make pressure right uh, in this situation it doesn't really matter we are going to survive the game or we are going to die in this battle it makes absolutely zero difference for us we are just trying to get as much use as we physically and possibly can right meanwhile ikea is making pressure like this that is okay he should be dead right about uh i'm just going for him he should be dead right about now that's okay and i have a feeling i'm going straight into the garage that's okay that's to be expected fellas that's to be expected. In this situation, I was already desperate and I said, oh my bananas, I need to make as much pressure as I physically and possibly can because otherwise I won't get any use whatsoever. And I do not regret a single bit. Um, games like this are happening once in a while and we need to accept it. Let's see the score. And that's good, fellas. We saw all sorts of games. We saw average games. We saw very good games. We saw um, bad game with a 700 damage. And that's completely fine. This is World of Tanks and... Uh, I think this review mwah, went very, very well. Let's see the score. Okay, fellas, excellent. 700 damage, that's all we have, right? Uh, definitely not ideal game, but it's okay. We are in the second half by the experience. We are first in the first half by the damage, which is crazy. And we got 6,000 profits. That is okay. Overall, after our three games with this vehicle, we played for 1.3 thousand damage and 200 uh, um, assisting damage. So 1.5 thousand combined, it is good enough to get the third mark of excellence at the moment. And overall, I did not felt like uh, the session went bad. I did not felt like we did like super duper hyper turbo good, un unless uh, if we are counting that first game, then it is okay. But overall, this is uh, this is a good showcase of this vehicle, and hopefully, this is going to be um, a good a good guide how to play with this tank and I hope um, you will find this informative. Remember to like the video, remember to leave the comment and say skill Zadimka isn't good and uh, eat kaku how dare you to rate the tank average. I very much appreciate you and thank you very much for watching see you very very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.